everyone, and welcome to January's Tinker Cat Challenge, where we're going to be making a, a wiggly snake with code blocks. So in this in this video, you're going to learn how to put all the codes together to create this wiggly snake. It's much like an articulated piece, is what they call it. So it's pretty, it's really fun, it's neat. Um, your pieces might, mine's do come apart a little bit, but I can put them back together, and they they uh, sit in pretty well. Once you're finished, uh, let me know what color you want. This is the purple, but you're welcome to print your snake out in any color that we have. We pretty much have all the colors. So any color you like, whether it be red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pinks. Uh, we even have a transparent, a white, a black. Uh, let me know what you like once you're done and we'll print it out for you. If you need any help and you want to have more of a one-on-one -on -one situation, I can even print out the code for you if you like to have something in paper and then... Uh, follow along with it that way. Please let me know at studionewlengthslibrary.org and I can help you out whether it be appointment or printout or any other question if it includes getting into Tinkercad and so on and so, so forth. If you want to try a different Tinkercad challenge, you're more than welcome to. I have a lot of challenges throughout the span of two years, so if you see something else that piques your interest, Give it a shot, try it out instead, and you're welcome to get a free print out of that. Remember, you can only get one free print for a month so let me know and let me know when you're ready. Anyway, I hope you have fun making this. I did and it was quite a challenging but yet rewarding thing to make. And it's enjoy Tinkercad and if you have any questions, the email is the emails at the bottom of the screen below. Studio at newlandslibrary.org. Thanks. Have fun. Enjoy tinkering. Okay, so this will be your homepage when you open up, but we're going to go to designs and click create. And we're going to hit code blocks this time, so make sure you double click on that. Let it load. And here is your code block screen. So now we're going to start off with create a new object. So I'm scrolling down all the way on this side and I'm going to create a new object. I also want to make sure I bring this all the way up to the top if possible. I'm going to rename the object and rename it to head. So this is going to be the head of the snake. Also, we wanted to make sure we changed the name of the file. So I'm putting my initials in, underscore, snake. Now I want to add a shape. So we're going to add the half sphere. Pop that in there. And now we want to find the move block. Move the half sphere to negative 5 on the y axis. And then we want to add a round roof shape. And we're going to scale this, so grab the scale, X, Y, Z, and we're going to change the Y to 0.5. And then we're going to create a group, so grab the created group. So this is going to adhe uh, adhese them all together, so it's going to put these two shapes um, and stick them together like glue. So we're not done yet. Um, we're going to actually make this head a little bigger. So we're going to grab that move block again. Change the z-axis to 5. And then we're going to grab the scale. X, Y, Z again. Change the Y to 2. And then we're going to add a box. So scroll all the way up. It's going to be your first shape up here. Add the box. Open up the menu. Change the length to 15. And the rest is going to stay the same. And we also want to make this a hole. So click on the gray stripes. And then we're going to move this. So move again. And change the Y to 8.5. And then we're going to create a group out of this. And I'm going to play it and we're going to see what happens. So it should be a longer head. There we go. Oh. Oh. Something happened here. Oh, I see. So I, this is supposed to be two. I think I hit three by accident. So why is supposed to be two up here? There you go. So yeah, make sure this says two. And this is going to be the overall code just for this part of the head. So now we want to add the eyes. So we're going to add, I'm going to add a comment here just so you can see what's going on where. So I'm going to put eyes here. This will not uh, mess with the code in any way. It's just for you to identify what different parts of it is. So I'm going to grab a sphere. Make sure it's connected. Pop it in. It should make a little popping noise and that's how you know it's uh, attached. So I'm going to change the radius to 3. 
And I'm going to grab a move block. And we're going to move it. X is going to be 5. Y is going to be negative 8. And then Z is going to be 7. And then we're going to grab another sphere. Pop that in below it. Same thing. Change the radius to 3. And we're going to move this one too. So while one eye is on one side of the head, we're going to make sure the other eye is on the other side. So this is going to be negative 5, negative 8 for y, and then z is also going to be 7. So just the x-axis has changed. We're going to create a group to attach all these together. And then we're also going to move them all as one unit. So y is going to change to negative 7. And let's play this. So you're going to watch it build the head again. And there you go. So that is the head. So if you have this so far, you're doing great. I'm going to move right along. If you want to just pause it here to make sure you got your code correctly, you can pause it here. But I'm going to add another comment, and we're going to start up with the neck. We want to make a piece for the neck that's going to be a connecting piece to the rest of the body. So that's what we're going to do now. So I'm going to add a, cil a cylinder. Plug that in here. Hole, so make sure you click on the gray stripes. And the radius is going to be 3. The height will be 6. The sides, edge, and edge steps will not change. And now I'm going to grab that rotate around. It's just going to be rotate block, but it's going to say rotate around. We're going to change axis X to axis Y. And 90 degrees is fine. And then we're going to grab a move block. We're going to change Y to negative 9. And then Z is going to be 2.5. And now we're going to add a block. This will also be a hole, so click on the gray stripes. And we're going to make sure all of these change to 6. So 6 width, 6 length, 6 height. The rest will be the same. And now we're going to move, grab the move block. We're going to move this piece to negative 6. For y and then 2.5 for z and then we're going to create a group so it should create a little hole in the back of the head see so that's part of it now we just got to add the pin so I'm gonna put a little comment here for neck pin scroll down my blocks I'm gonna add another cylinder so we're gonna bring the cylinder up here plug that in and radius is going to be 1.125. Height will be 7. Edge, edge steps will be the same. Now we want to rotate around. So we're going to grab that block. We're going to grab the rotate block. Make sure this says axis Y. And then we're going to grab that move block. Uh, X is going to be 0. Y will be negative 9. And Z will be 2.5. And now we're going to create a group. So I'm going to grab that create group block, plug that in there. And then we're going to move everything as one unit once more. So I'm going to grab that and put Y as negative 30. And I'm going to play it super fast. So you see, this is how it's going to look. There's going to be that pin, that's the neck pin in the middle of the neck. This is the head. So if you have this so far, you are doing great. If you want to pause it here to, to change anything, you can. And then just make sure down here that you also add that move block. So if you want to pause it here to double check, you can as well. So overall, this is the whole code just for the head. Next stop, I'm going to move to the body. So now we're going to create the body. We're going to add a new object and we're going to rename this variable as body. Now I want to add a, a round roof tool. And then we're going to move it. So grab that move block. Z is going to be 5. And now I want to add a cylinder. And this is going to be a solid. We're going to open it up. And it's going to be 2.5 for radius. Height will be 5. And everything else will be the same. So those two are the only two to change. 
Now grab the rotate and make sure this says rotate by the Y axis and a move block down here. Or make sure this says give me negative 15 and Z would be 2.5. Now I want to grab another cylinder and we're going to change this to a hole. So click on the gray stripes, open up the menu, change the radius to 1.5, height will be 4. 5 and then sides edge steps all this would be the same no changes there we're going to rotate so let's grab the rotate block change this to axis y and we're going to move it again so grab that move block and we're going to change y to negative 15 and then z is going to be 2.5 so this section right here is going to be the part that's going to uh interlink with the neck so that's what we're making so you can see so far we just got that cylinder and once we group it all together it's going to form one piece but right now it's just floating out there. So now we're going to create the next part for it. So grab the box, make sure it says solid. We're going to open up and change the width, length, and height to 5. So make sure all those say 5. And now I'm going to grab that move block, plug that in. Uh, y is going to be negative 12.5. And then Z is going to be 2.5 and X will be 0. So make sure it just stays the same. Cylinder, grab one of those, plug it in. Make sure this is changed to a uh, hole. So click on the gray stripes. And we're going to change the radius to 3. Height to 6. And all this would be the same. So I'm going to play this and see where we're at right now. Now we're going to grab the rotate around block. Down here, change this to axis Y. And then the move block, so we're going to move Y to 7 and then Z to 2.5. And play this in C. Now we're going to grab a box, plug that in, make sure it's a hole, so click on the gray stripes and change all of these to 6. So width, length, and height is all going to be 6. And now we're going to grab that move block. We're going to move it. Um, y is going to be 10. And then Z is going to be 2.5. Oh, and I'm going to create a group. So this should be the whole piece of one body segment. Okay. So there we go. So now the last thing we got to do is just add a pin. So I'm going to add a cylinder. We're going to do that pin piece for this. Make sure it's a solid. Change the radius to 1.5. The height will be 7. And then the rest will stay the same. Grab the rotate block. Plug that in. Make sure it says rotate axis Y. And then grab the move block. Plug that in. Y will be 8. Change it to 8 and then change Z to 2.5. And then we're going to create a group here. And then we're going to move everything to negative, negative 23. Okay, so you see the, the back piece has changed. So the neck and the head are now together. So now we're going to, I'm going to zoom in and make sure the center is okay. I think so. So now what we're going to do is we're going to add more snake bodies. So what we're going to do is pull out the count width and I'm going to get it so I can see all of, all of this code. Get to see all of this code and I'm going to grab the count width, plug it in all the way at the top there. Okay. So I had to take all this code and put it in there as well. So we're going to change from 1 to 5. So you see it's in all these segments, but it's also moving it up negative uh, 23 as it goes. So after we move everything negative 23 up, now we have to move all of these segments back. We're going to grab the move to block, plug that in here. Change X axis to Y axis, center to 19. So this is going to push all that segments back after it's done 
duplicate and all of it. So this is how the body is made. This is all the code for the body. If you want to double check your work, make sure to pause it here in the video and make sure all the code matches up. Overall, at the end, when you play this, your snake should look like this. All the links in the middle should be equal. And once you're all ready to go on, we're going to do the next part, which is the tail. Okay, so now we're going to make a tail. So I'm grabbing create object. I'm going to change this to tail. And I'm going to grab a cone piece. So it's that purple shape up here. Grab a cone. And it's, it doesn't change, so we're going to keep it the same. Grab the scale, X, Y, Z, plug in here, and change the Z axis to a 2. And then we're going to grab a move block, plug that in, change the X to 30. And now we're going to grab rotate around, plug that in. So axis X will not change, but we want to change the direction, so negative 90 is what we're going for. And then we want to add a block. So what we're doing is pretty much cutting this cone in half. This is what we're building the tail with. And we're going to click on gray stripes, and that's going to cut the tail. Make sure the length says 40. The width and the height will still be 20, so leave those alone. Now we're going to grab move block, plug that in. We're going to change this to 30. And then Z is going to be negative 10. And now we're going to grab a create group block plug that in and then we're going to grab another move block it's going to be y will be 10 we're going to add a box so now we're going to create the pin portion so we're adding a box plug it in so we're going to change this to five so width length and height will all be five so now we're going to grab a move block X is going to be 30, Y is going to be negative 12.5, and Z is going to be 2.5. And now we're going to grab a cylinder, plug that in, and radius is going to be 2.5, height will be 5, everything else will be the same. Now we're going to grab a rotate around block. We're going to change this to axis Y, 90 degrees is all good, keep that the same. Grab another move block, change the Z, change the X to 30, the Y to negative 15, and then the Z is going to be 2.5. Now we're going to add a cylinder, grabbing that, and we're going to make this a hole, so change, click on the gray stripes. The radius is going to be 1.5. The height's going to be 5, and everything else will be the same. Now we want to grab a rotate around tool, so rotate, X, Z, Y, and then we want to move it, so we're going to move this to X will be 30, Y is going to be negative 15, and then Z is going to be 2.5, then we're going to create a group, so I'm plug that in. We're going to move it again, negative uh, 30. So the last thing we have to do for the tail, we just have to, let me show you what happens. So as I'm playing this, you notice the tail is back here. So we have to move that tail to go to the end here. So what I'm going to do is grab that move to block and pop that in here. And we're going to change this to Y axis. And I'm going to try a minimum of 74, and we're going to see it hopefully move to where it needs to go. All right, perfect. So this is a snake, everyone. I hope you enjoyed learning code blocks like this, and, you're, and you had fun making a snake. Um, once you email us at, the, at studio at newlinuxlibrary.org, let us know what color you need, uh, you want your snake printed out as, and then we will email you back with uh, whenever it's ready. So keep a lookout for studio at newlinuxlibrary.org emails, and I hope you have fun making the snake, and enjoy Tinkercad. Thanks. Bye.
Thank you.